Hi everybody, Nova from GetPharmacyAdvice.com here. Thought I'd go over another drug interaction with you. Um, first I want to say how excited I am that the football season is starting. Yay! I am a personally a Redskin fan. Um, my second team is the Patriots because I did spend quite a bit of time up there, but I've been a Redskin fan since birth. Um, and you know how well that's been going for us for the last decade. Not so well. <laughs> but as I say, this is our season. Yes. Um, so let's get into the drug interaction. It's going to be about fluoroquinolones and milk products. <clears throat> Pardon me. So fluoroquinolones are a group of antibiotics. Uh, a couple of popular ones, I'm just going to mention three here, are Cipro, which is the ciprofloxacin. It's available in generic. Avalox and Levaquin. Those two are not available in generic. And just so you know, they are... They're pretty much, they're so similar. Cipro can cover mostly everything that Avalox and um, Levaquin do. So if you ever hear the words Levaquin or Avalox, just think money signs and ask your doctor, would Cipro work in this instant, instance, instance? <laughs> Sorry. Um, because it can save you a lot of money. So going into the drug interaction, uh, fluoroquinolones, those three medications, can uh, interact with milk products. So if you take your Cipro antibiotic and you drink a glass of milk or eat a cup of yogurt or what else is there? Cheese, a lot of cheese, cheese sandwich. Uh, the Cipro gets bound in your belly or the Avalox and Levaquin, they're all the same. Um, they get bound in your belly and they're not absorbed as well. So you can have a typical absorption of Cipro is, um, I think it's about 85%. So it, it decreases. So your, your body can't get as much as the antibiotic. So what the studies have shown that you just want to avoid eating dairy products um, if you're going to take your antibiotic. Uh, don't eat dairy products two hours before or two hours after you take the pill. So um, the studies have also shown, though, is if you're eating a full meal and you happen to have some yogurt as a side dish or you know a little bit of cheese on there, then that's fine. You don't have to worry about that as long as it's part of a full meal. You just don't want to have something that's like crazy dairy heavy. Uh, so that's one thing. Then on the other side, which kind of goes along with it because it's, it's the same idea, is um, antacids and how they interact with fluoroquinolones. If you take, and they work way worse than dairy products. So a lot of people know not to take dairy products, but they don't think about antacids. So Mylanta, um, Gaviscon, Maalox, they all have aluminum and magnesium in them, and these are like the worst things to take anywhere near taking your fluoroquinolone. Uh, you want to take this. If you have to take Avascon, you want to take it two hours before or six hours after um, taking your, your Cipro or Avalox because it can decrease, um, studies have shown it decreases the bioavailability, which is the amount of drug that can get into your system, up to 70%. 70%, which that means that that antibiotic is not doing any good for you. <laughs> like the other ones, you know, they kind of decrease. They could still work. It's still above the level that it needs to be. But if you were to take your drug, and you have to take some Mylanta at the same time, it, it, it's not even worth it. You're not doing anything good for yourself there. So definitely avoid taking Gaviscon, Mylanta, anything that says aluminum, magnesium on the active ingredients. Um, other thing, Tums. Tums is good to avoid, but it can kind of be treated like drinking a glass of milk. You know, it's not as big of a deal. Um, and if you have to take something for your belly for whatever reason, the safest thing to take is going to be the pink stuff, Pepto-Bismol, because that has the least effect on any of the antibiotics. Um, so I hope I've scared you enough that you're not going to take Mylanta or Gaviscon or anything that says aluminum and magnesium in it with your fluoroquinolone. Um, just avoid that for that time because it really it would be like taking no medication at all. I have some numbers. I wrote them down. So Cipro usually gets into your body at like 80%. It works really well. Um, if you take Mylanta with it, it will decrease to 15%, which is not enough for your body to get the antibiotic in it that it needs. Uh, Avalox, it drops 30% from 90 to 60%. And for Levaquin, it drops 40%. So I know those numbers are confusing. You're like, what's going on over here? She's rambling again. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is just drive it home that it is best to avoid um, antacids and when you're taking fluoroquinolone. Okay? I don't want you to have to keep taking this the amounts of drugs at a time and you have to go back to the doctor. If you have any questions, um, please email me or come see our site uh, at getpharmacyadvice.com, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.